Hello there, you got my Chelsea team playing against Tottenham for tomorrow's game at London Derby against uh, former manager of Jose Marino, now in charge of Tottenham. He does get around quite a bit, being the manager of Chelsea, Tottenham and Manchester United in the last few seasons. So last game for my Chelsea team was a 2-0 defeat against Manchester United. And I'll go through the review of that game right now as I took down quite a few notes as I was watching this game on the replay. Didn't know what the score was. It was hours later. A uh, good website out there called fullmatchandshows.com there if you're interested. But it was a very frustrating game indeed. Uh, West James for Chelsea. Not too far right off the left-hand post six minutes in. So I got off to a pretty good start. And looking threatening on the counter-attack in the early stages. William, nine minutes in, trying a curling effort. And then there was an injury, ten minutes, with Conte. And required Mason Art to be substituted quite early in. A couple of minutes later. And then... Maguire following Giroud down the sideline. Double foot, second... Second foot uh, challenge there uh, with the around the green area of batch wise, so he was very lucky not to be sent off for Manchester United. So there was a few different key weak wing decisions. That one being the main one. Uh, Martial, thirty six minutes in after uh, scored. I don't know. Hold up, I'm actually up here six minutes in after the incident, not far off scoring. So after he nearly got sent off, he had a chance of his own. And then Manchester United, 44 minutes in. Just before half time, it was Wan Bissaka's cross to Martial to head it into the left hand corner. And that was after Christensen was sent off for a Bleeding nose, so we're down to 10 men, just like we were when Conte came off injured as well too for Mason Mats. So it was a bit of 11 first 10, when it could have been a little bit more prepared to make that substitution straight away. And that cost us just before half time, so very frustrating. And we also had uh, Willie Cabello in goal at 38 years old for Chelsea there, so he is getting on. Quite a bit. Um, and Manchester United, a couple of early corners in the second half. Mesa Mart, Batchelor, open, open missed it, had an earlier one as well. Back footed from Williams, poor ball win. Uh, Williams split for a foul as well too in the match. Uh, Zuma on for Christensen in the second half. Second sub made for another injury for us. So those injuries after that long winter break and we're picking up injuries straight away. There's been a few other clubs that, that's been happening too as well too, so it seems like the winter break hasn't done its full purpose. Uh, 54 minutes into this match, batch try. Um, had a... Uh, had a shot hitting the crossbar. Seconds later, uh, Petro missing an opportunity via the deflection. Oh. Uh, William uh, had a corner volleyed for Zuma. 55 minutes and a disallowed goal for us. Turned out to be one of two disallowed goals for this match. Uh, Bruno Fernandes had a free kick to the right hand side of the post there for Manchester United. And 65 minutes in, left hand corner. Headed in around the penalty box, Maguire playing in in the right hand corner as Manchester United took a 2 0 lead. And that was basically how it went along. Very frustrating. Kovacic getting 
and behind Bailey brilliantly saved for Manchester United. Um, Mason Matz down the sides, cross ball for duo, substitute to score. But that one turned out to be the second disallowed goal of the game there. So two disallowed goals and a sending off that Manchester United should have suffered. suffered. Abraham Hubson and Doy injured and not started pre-game was part of the reasons why I guess we lost this game as well as we just haven't been doing great at home all season really as we've been better on away from home there where the pressure is a bit off as the fans aren't there so we motivate ourselves and uh, counter attack a lot more easily but um, but really you should be able to perform at the same levels at home though but just don't create enough chances for whatever reason uh, Mesa Martz hitting the post 88 minutes into the game slimmer position as well too and David De Gea going down injured but turned out to be alright Agallo on for Marcio for stoppage time in 5 minutes left to go and Fernandez off for Adalot Four Manchester United there making some very late substitutions in this match right at the end. So a bit of waste of time really. Uh, Fred to Agallo, one on one. Down the sides from Cabello. And that's all she wrote really in this match there. It was Manchester United that got, you have to say, an undeserved 2 0 victory, but job done in the end really. And for Tottenham. They lost to Leipzig in their last game, played in the Champions League fixture with Timo Werner in the 58th minute. Scoring a penalty kick, 16 to 12 shots for Leipzig, 5 on target each. A hit record for these two clubs then. Chelsea with 71 victories, 54 wins for Tottenham, and 40 draws. The odds for this game $1.72 for Chelsea, $4.50 for Tottenham, $3.75 for the draw. Recent results, we managed to pick up three victories in a row in our last three matches. Well, Tottenham got the three games prior to that and ten decisive results in total. So, we really need to bounce back on this game here and win. And I am going to go for a Chelsea victory, of course, as a Chelsea supporter. And if we don't win, we will start to actually drop down the division there, 5th, 6th, 7th place looms as we only have a 1 point lead over Tottenham there. Who is sitting in 5th place, Sheffield United, just the 2 points back from us as well too. So, just need to start picking up these victories, last 4 games, only a couple of draws and a couple of defeats. So that's not great at all. So, feel free to leave your thoughts and predictions for this game here. Do you think Chelsea will get the victory? Do you think it'll be Tottenham and Moeno who pull us off the victory? Or we finally see a draw again in this fixture there. Anything else you want to talk about, feel free to do so. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Cheers.